Hi, in this video, using 5 stocks, I will show how to find out optimal portfolio which will maximize the return and minimize the risk. We are going to use Microsoft Excel, Excel Solver, and Matrix Multiplication to compute variance and covariance matrix. If you are interested in only two stocks portfolio optimization, please check out my other video, the link of which is also given in the description below. In this demonstration, we are going to use five years monthly stock price information for five companies such as McDonald, Starbucks, Pfizer, Amazon, and American Express. If you understand the process, you can do the same exercise using whatever many companies you like and whatever date range you want to use in your computation. Let's open an internet browser. Go to the webpage finance.yahoo.com. In the quote lookup box, type in the ticker symbol MCD for McDonald. Click the historical data tab. Set the time period as September 1st, 2015 to September 1st, 2020. From the drop down menu, set the frequency as monthly. Press Apply, press Download. Open the mcd.csv file in Excel. Please check if you have a total of 60 months or 60 rows. Delete all the columns except the date and closing price. Rename the close as MCD. We are going to copy and paste the remaining four companies' stock price information here in mcd.csv. In other words, this file is going to be your main file. Now follow the similar steps. Go back to finance.yahoo.com. In the quote lookup box, type in the ticker symbol SBUX for Starbucks. Click the historical data tab. Set the time period as September 1st, 2015 to September 1st, 2020. From the drop down menu, Set the frequency as monthly. Press apply. Press download. Open the sbux.csv file in Excel. There should be a total of 60 months or 60 rows. Copy the closing price column and paste it in the mcd.csv file. Rename the close as sbux. Likewise, I'm going to fast forward and get the price information for Pfizer, Mgen, American Express, and paste in the mcd.csv file. Now that I have lined up all five companies' stock prices, let's format our spreadsheet for optimization. Insert one row above so that we can use that for title. I write monthly prices. Right after, I write statistics for monthly and yearly return and variances. Then. I write returns and excess returns.
Now, I'm going to fill all these cells using Excel formula. Let's calculate McDonald's return and copy the formula down. Use the same formula for remaining companies by copying the formula to the right. Now copy the formula down. Let's compute the monthly average returns and variances. Now annualize both returns and variances by multiplying by 12. Let's compute McDonald's excess return. The formula is monthly return minus the average monthly return. Copy the formula to the right. Since the cell that has monthly return of average should be fixed as we copy the formula down, we will press F4 or put dollar sign before and after the cell for all the companies. Now copy the formula down. Let's compute variance covariance matrix using mmult and transpose function in Excel. One important thing to remember is that from now and on, whenever we multiply matrix, we hold down Control Shift in our keyboard and then press Enter. If you do not do this, Excel will give you error message. Now, note that the excess return matrix has 59 rows and 5 columns or 59 by 5 matrix. Using mmult and transpose function, we will multiply transpose of excess return and excess return matrix. To do so, select the entire range, which is 5 by 5 area. Now write equal mmult bracket transpose bracket select excess return matrix bracket close comma, select excess return matrix again, bracket close, times 12 for annualization, and divide by 58 for n minus 1, then holding down control and shift, press enter. The diagonal elements of the variance covariance matrix are the variances. Now to check if your calculation is right, check if the yellow highlighted numbers are equal to the annual variance. If they are not equal, you made a mistake somewhere. So you redo the multiplication. Now it's time to do the optimization. Let's prepare the spreadsheet one last time. First, today's risk-free rate based on 10-year treasury yield is 
Fill out the annual returns for 5 stocks. We now assume that we are going to invest equal amount of money for each of the 5 stocks. That means Weight of each stock is 20%. The sum should be 1. Calculate expected return using matrix formula. I write equal M mult bracket transpose bracket the weight matrix from column to row comma annual returns bracket close then holding down the control and shift, press enter. Calculate risk or standard deviation using matrix formula again. I write equal SQRT which is square root bracket emult bracket emult bracket transpose bracket the weight matrix comma variance covariance matrix comma the weight matrix parenthesis close holding down control and shift then press enter now calculate sharp ratio as expected return minus risk-free rate divided by risk. So, in an equally weighted portfolio, your sharp ratio is 0 0.72. Is it the optimal portfolio where you have maximized the return and minimized the risk? Maybe or maybe not. To find out our optimal portfolio will try to maximize the sharp ratio using a solver. Let's start with equal portfolio again and then we'll use solver to maximize the outcome. We will follow the same process as before. Now, we will be using the yellow highlights only to optimize. In your Excel menu, go to Data. You should have Solver. If you don't see it, go to the File menu, then click Options. On your left, press Add-ins. In the Manage box, 
select Excel add-ins and then press go. Now select solver add-in and press OK. Solver should be showing in the menu bar. Click solver. In the dialog box, to clear previous entry, click reset all. Set objective as your sharp ratio. Select max. Now select changing variable cells. Add the constraints. Our sum should always be 1 because you cannot invest more money than you have. Now make sure that the non-negative option is checked. What it means is that we are not allowing any short cell. Finally, press solve and click OK to keep the results. You see that your sharp ratio is way better than that of the equally weighted portfolio. Similarly, the return is better as well. But the solver recommends you invest only in McDonald and Amgen stock. However, you can add one or more restrictions in the solver if you like solver to give positive weight to all the stocks. You can try different combinations and see what the results are. In conclusion, if we agree with the result, in order to optimize our portfolio, we only invest 72% of our money in McDonald and remaining 28% in MGen. For the rest of the stocks, we do not invest. And this is only for this calculation. If you do a different calculation, you might see a different result. I hope this video helps you understand the mechanism of finding optimal portfolio using more than two companies.